respect, something like that. Something that isn't um, called it, oh yeah, respect. Yeah. Everyone knows respect, not really, but respect uh, your elders, respect the people who is um, in charge of something like your boss or respect um, uh, people who are in positions of um, making things because this respect is not because you're trying to get um, in favor of them or anything. The respect is because you understand that they've been through a lot more than you are. By respecting them, you understand that you are doing the same thing for yourself. No one, no one, no one dislikes being respectful. Uh, no one dislikes a respectful person. Uh, you can be blunt and honest, but you're still respectful. Uh, being respectful means that you, you, you have a nice um, distance with other people and um, it keeps the relationship going. And in future, when you are elder in position of power, in position of uh, doing important stuff or stuff like that, you are having that high position, you also ex uh, uh, hope people will respect you. So this thing comes around and goes around. People, uh, in Chinese, we also can say gui in a sense, um, not just simply chun, uh, chun jing, uh, like people who become prestigious, gui, because they are uh, the person who respect for others. If you saw someone who are, appear as, uh, how to say, very arrogant and they still got high precision, don't be doubtful of this law because law and cause and effect is not about one life. It's about three uh, past, present, future. They will have many past, just like this earth. Before this earth, there are many, 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 many big bangs and universe before that. It's not ridiculous to think about that. Right, the scientists will also think about okay before the Big Bang, there's another Big Bang or something like that, and after you, after this existence, there will be many, 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 many that comes after. So, so, so does our human life because we're part of the universe. It's not some new age stuff. It is a reality. Our life is a continuum. You can't just say it breaks into when you die, it's gone like a candle off. It's one of the. This is one of the reason why we need Dharma. <laughs> This is a very serious misconception of the of the current world, especially. So back to the point, um, being respectful, a person who got respectful, a person who always be respectful of people, will always be respected by everyone. And even though they don't get position in, in terms of power, uh, governmental or in CEO or company, those are very narrow. They are, if a person is being respected in the community, like even though they have no titles or anything, but they were treated like a royal in a sense that they were respected so much because they are themselves respectful of others. And if you saw someone who was being respected uh, or in a position of uh, worthy of uh, demand of respect, even though that person's moral and virtue is not that good, it's because the past life they have cultivated respectful heart. And hence they got the they got what they saw. It's fair. It's just that in this life, they are not aware of this. That's why Dharma is important. They're not aware of this. Their eyes are not open. So they thought, you know, I was born uh, with a wealthy family and all that. So I should be above everyone else. They don't understand I was born into here because I cultivate so many lives of giving just to get where I am. If people can think that, he's Bodhisattva. <laughs> so that's why we need to, um, we need to be aware of this. Okay. So why do we need to respect elders? Because they are the one who pass down the knowledge, pass down the foundation, and it also reminds the elder themselves to be worthy of respect. So don't do something that will that will cause more harm towards next generation, which is what not not happening for our generation now. According to Master Ching Kong, as you can see, his era, which is ninety years old, nineteen twenties until now, they are all forgotten about all that or it's gradually forgotten about virtues and morals and it becomes more and more prone to scientific development and all that just focusing on the outside without the without the human uh, development inside so it becomes uh, naturally uh, chasing after wealth for the sake of wealth without thinking about leaving you know what we call right now the environmental movement leaving something for next generation so in case we think about nowadays people, you know, young people don't feel respectful towards them. I mean, we will be elder one day. We think about, am I worthy of respect? Have we done something deserving of respect from them? Um, back then, there was a concept of you have to be respect to us and all that. But right now, you know, to gain respect, to be worthy of respect, we need to do something 
that are truly benefit to them or do our job as a father, act like a father, take care of the family, as a mother, take off, uh, act like a mother. Or people who do their job, who fulfill their basic duty, obviously with uh, respect, uh, being um, devoted to their relationships uh, as a husband and wife and father and son, uh, parents and ch child, children, um, teachers and students. If they all do their job in Confucius, we call it the five relationships, Wulun. Naturally, the respect will form. You don't have to ask them to respect. You, you can, you can. When, when they were young, we talked about uh, you need to be respectful for, to people. Uh, you need to, uh, all, all that movements, you know, your, your mannerism need to be taken care of. Those are mechanical. But what this mechanical trying to achieve cannot be replaced by a genuine respect that comes out from the heart. Those, those, those mannerisms, they are mechanical way, or not mechanical, they are way to express your love and respect towards your parents. This is what ancient Chinese did, like they have all that set of rights and customs. The reason, um, you might get a little bit more, uh, how to say, off track towards the end of the, the, the imperial era, but the origins of it is you love that person, you respect that person, like your uh, beloved grandpa, grandma. And the way you show respect uh, is, you know, you can imagine that if you love someone so much, uh, you give them a very deep bow or, or a deep hug, stuff like that. Obviously, Chinese don't hug in the ancient times. And so we give a deep bow and deep that. You feel very natural and you feel like you're expressing that sort of energy to them. And they they themselves sitting there, they will feel, you know, touched and all that. So it all have to come from the heart. Obviously, towards the end or towards the later era, which is closest to us, people get more and more restricted on the outside and forgot what the core is about. And the core is about you expressing yourself. So respect in this term is not just mannerism. Mannerism is just the face. Respect from the heart means everyone's doing their job. Like if you saw a uh how to say uh a cleaner a cleaner cleans the job earnestly use the clean cloth every time takes care of every single cleaning products take care of the the windows take care of the basins and they use clean cloth every time especially around the kitchen area they were sensitive towards the needs of the people they were like okay i use the clean cloth i don't use the cloth to wipe that wipe the toilet to wipe the kitchen so he think if you saw cleaner like that that cleaner is worthy of respect as much as you respect your boss. Mm. So a parent's doing their job, a husband and a wife doing their job. Obviously, we can't define in the old times, women have stay at home. That's that's not the error. What I'm saying is there's got to be someone to do the job. It better be wife, man and wife, which one? Like if man's staying at home, taking care of the children and wife goes and earn the money, that's fine. As long as someone's doing the job, taking care of the children, educating it, doesn't matter. Don't give it to nanny. It's not fair for the children. They need you, the parents. So as long as people doing their role, uh, fulfilling the role, they will be earning the respect. This is always all about. It's not about getting big money, getting big position. Because I can't emphasize this more. Because the whole disagree and whole, um, whole disagree by Master Ching Kong, why he wants us to talk about this you know, uh, standards of being a good person is because we're lacking this part in our life. So we can talk about all the big sutras, all the big theories, all the big science, high philosophies. But when it boils down to the most simplest ingredient, uh, we call it love. And when you have love, you would not show it purely from emotion. You would, you would use respect to convey that love. Because if love without respect, it just becomes um, spoiled. Um, whether between husband and wife, whether between parents and child. Um, respect gives that beautiful distance that needed for everyone to uh, grow properly, healthily, because we are a mix of emotions and rationale, like they are together. And we cannot have without emotions. It's like without colors. But if it's just too much colors like disco, without order, which is what we call rationality or wisdom, it becomes disco, which is very fuzzy. It, it becomes messy, which is what happened now. Everyone just do what they want and it becomes too messy. There's no, there's nothing 
for this next generation to follow. You don't have to restrict their path, but you need to give them a path to to choose, right? Don't 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 mess up their life. But like in eighties and seventies uh, and eighties, we have that experimental period. I can see their costume and all that. This is personal opinion, by the way, but I have to say that because it reflects of our societies. Uh, like after that very strict forties and fifties, I can see all that the way they wear and the mannerism is very stringent. And then 60, they start to liberate. 70, 80 becomes so weird. You can see the way they wear the stuff and the hair. And then 90s, we're like, okay, that's enough. Way too much. And then back back to now, everyone's normalizing a little bit. So what I'm trying to say is um, there is always a balance uh, in the middle. And we trying to, uh, I try to express this, uh, using this to express what is respect. It's the balance. Balance of your love for that person at the same time the mannerism you need to have.